thought I'd do a quick product review on Osram's LED driving replacement bulbs. These are for your rears, so these ones are for your brake and tail. Got the 21s and 5s in there. And these ones are for your fogs, reverse and some indicators. Been a fan of Osram for years now. Got their night breakers unlimited and unlimited lasers on this. And brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But the only thing I couldn't find was really good replacement rear bulbs. And these replace your normal filament bulbs, so they're just plug and play. And they don't give any canvas errors, which is quite good actually. Especially for my vehicle, it's really temperamental. So what I'll do is I'll go and open up and uh, we'll have a quick look at them. Okay, we'll have a look at the P21 slash 5 watters, your brake and tail lights. Not a bad build really. Different design. Quite a blank spot at the top there, but uh, other than that, so you've got two chips in there. Obviously be your 5 watter and your 21 watter. So 5 for your running, 21 for your brake, and then your offsets. In your lugs. Heat sink is quite large, really, and uh, quite a good body to it. Um, should give off, hopefully, the same as a filament bulb. We'll have a look. And there's your P21. Just your one chip there. So obviously, it's got one. Exactly the same build, except for it's got parallel lugs for going into your sockets. Same heatsink and the same poly body, but just the one chip. So yeah, let's put them in. Okay, so on the right is the Osram LEDs, and on the left are normal filament bulbs. To the naked eye, the filaments are a little bit crisper light really. Seems to be a bit more red to it coming through the lens, so it must be a whiter bulb coming out. But uh, these are cool white bulbs, as with that being on the left and obviously the LEDs on the right. You can't really tell on the camera, but same. Same really. I would have thought in the pitch black, exactly the same. Exactly the same with looking without the brake lights on. You can't really tell a difference on the camera. There's a little bit of a difference, but not great. And the LEDs are doing the job. They're brighter, obviously, being 21 watt outputs. But the exactly the same with the filaments. They're just a little bit crisper, but they're going to do the job. They look all right, and uh, you'd know if I was braking. Hopefully, they'll last a lot longer. Hopefully, so I'll put the reverse lights on now. Okay, that's a significant difference. Much crisper and whiter light with the LED, and the filaments. They're just no good on these vehicles. So I hope, but it reverse should be a bit better now. Now instead of putting it in the fog, I've put it in the indicator to see what it reacts like, see what the canvas is like. So I'll stick those on now and we'll see what we get. Not bad. I put the hazards on. For those who've dabbled in the LED world, it's a completely different system. So they flash fine just for a comparison quickly. Obviously the LEDs on the right again, filaments on the left, and other than the crisper light coming off the LED and it instant on off, can't really tell the difference. So I'll show you what it does when you just put the indicator on on the dash now. Externally 
it's flashing fine. On, off, on, off. Same sequence with the hazard lights on a normal flash. But I don't know if the camera's picking it up there. You can hear on the dash the relay is clicking like mad. But uh, I'll show you anyway. And there you have it. As I said, flashing like mad. So I don't think I'll be leaving them in the indicators. Wow, what a difference. I can't believe it. Put them in the fogs and it's completely breathtaking. The filament, twice as bright. The LED, don't know. And you can tell slightly on the video that the filament is brighter. But if you walk back a bit, you can see that the LEDs got a little bit of distance. And there you go, as I said, from a distance, they're really bright. But the filament just got that edge on it. So yeah, quite disappointing really. Here's just the reverse lights on. Look cool actually. Um, much prefer the crisp or whiter light. And looking at the area I'm standing at the minute it does seem to be uh, a little bit more light coming towards me